everyone thank you for watching today's video is going to be a new declutter video and this is going to be my highlight collection declutter so this is a little overview of my collection and I have too many highlighters we need to uh, we need to cut this down so that's what I'm working on today I will have my declutter playlist linked down below in case you want to see more of these from me I will also leave my latest chopping block video because I was talking about items that I was considering decluttering from both my face palette collection and my highlight collection I did face palette declutter last month but why don't we go ahead and jump into it so like I said my highlight collection is just much too large it's definitely gotten out of hand uh, this video is going to be the last declutter before we move so I'm still filming this in my old house we've closed on the new house but we have um, a few weeks here left before we have to be out of this one so we're slowly starting to move everything over and definitely being in the process of moving has made my declutters a lot more kind of like cutthroat if you will I've done a lot better job at decluttering than I have been and I think like just me looking at this collection I feel like I'm going to keep in that same spirit because it just is kind of overwhelming to think about moving a bunch of products to another place like the act of packing them up moving them unpacking them and then being like "Ooh, did I really even want this so uh, let's see how well I can do today. So jumping into it, this one here is from Pixie Beauty. So this is one of their uh, Glowy Gossamer Duos, and this one is in Delicate Dew. So you have two different highlights here. One is kind of more pinky. The other one is a little bit more gold. I get a ton of use out of this duo here. I think it is so good. I use the pinky side a little bit more, but sometimes I'll mix them together as well. But I recommend this quite a bit. I travel with it quite a bit. I really do enjoy this. So I am going to go ahead and keep that one. I also do have this one here from Persona Cosmetics. This is one of the Cali Glow highlights, and this one is in Zuma. Uh, another highlight that I just enjoy so much. This one is, hello, oh, hello. This one is more, a little bit more on the like kind of gold champagne side. It's not too dark for my skin tone, and I know there are a couple different shades of the highlighters from Persona. I really like the packaging on this. It does have a nice mirror, uh, and I really do like this highlight. It does have a little bit of glitter in it. Like this is probably my most glittery highlight I would say that I will still keep around in my collection but I think that it looks really pretty on the skin so I'm going to be keeping this one also. I'm not going to swatch absolutely everything just in kind of the interest of saving time because I know my videos are quite long but I will swatch if there's any that I'm like I'm not sure about or you know I just need to see it one last time before I make a decision so just wanted to point that out there. Um, so this one here is from Revolution Beauty. This is the Vivid Baked Highlighter and this one is in the shade Peach Lights. It's a really pretty highlight. I did swatch it right there but I just I think I have this one in my chopping block video because I just don't reach for it a lot again I think it's really pretty I think it looks nice on the skin but I just don't feel like grabbing for this one like pretty much ever so I'm kind of like do you need to keep it around in your collection probably not so I'm actually I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in the past pile I really I really do like it I purchased it from Ulta Beauty and I think it's really pretty I just don't reach for it enough to keep it around Okay, this one here is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Amrezy highlight. This definitely is, you know, such a favorite highlight of so many people. I have reviewed it on my channel, and I've said that I like it. It's not a favorite highlight of mine. I do like it. I think that it's pretty. I do have to build it up quite a bit on my skin, and I think it shows a little bit more texture than I love. So if there's times where I, where I really have a lot of texture on my skin, I don't feel like I can grab for this one. But um, when I'm not having those kinds of days, I think that it's pretty, and I think it's nice on the skin. I'm going to go ahead and keep this one around. Uh, I am filming still for my March Madness series and this one is in the top two most voted on highlights for me to use so definitely need to keep this one around anyways for March Madness but I would just keep it regardless because again I do like it uh, okay so this one here I believe this one was in my chopping block video as well this is the Sigma Chroma Glow shimmer and highlight palette I really like this palette it has a nice mirror on it. it has six really large highlights in here I got a lot of use out of this palette when I first got it and even a little bit afterwards I definitely use these two shades quite a bit ambrosia I used a lot because I really do like kind of that pinky highlight but I'm just not reaching for this as much anymore and I don't reach for a lot of these colorful highlights as much so I'm just not getting a ton of use out of this palette so I think that I can pass it on to someone who will use it more than I will so I have decided I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. I feel like it's the right thing to do, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I have this palette here from Ofra. This is the Glow Up palette, so inside you have this nice mirror, and then you have a variety of different highlights in here. I really like this palette. I really do like the Ofra highlights. I feel like this one is a good palette for me because I have a lot of different highlight options in here, and especially, I think this one is... Uh, Beverly Hills highlight and you can see that you have a lot of different options in the compact there So love over highlights. I'm definitely going to be keeping this one 
we are not doing very well. Whew, this is, this is going to be rough. I thought I was going to be doing better, but um, let me just, I'm going to just kind of grab in like a different direction here. Maybe that'll help things. So this here is from Marc Jacobs. This is the uh, Spotlight Glow Stick. So this one is more of like a cream highlighter and you know, it's kind of like that deodorant vibe and you kind of like roll it up and whatnot. This is a really pretty cream highlight if you are into cream highlights. This one's really pretty. I remember buying this one from Sephora because so many people were talking about it and saying really good things about it. Like, is there any nurses watching and you just want to, like, take my blood because look at those veins. <laughs> I just got done taking my dog for a walk. So whenever that happens or, like, I exercise or something, you can really see all my veins. So sorry if that's distracting. Uh, so I purchased this one because so many people were hyping it up. And I was more into cream products in that time. And I did get some good use out of this one. A lot of times I would layer it. Like, I would put this on and then I would put a highlight over it. But I just don't reach for my cream products as much anymore. And this one really does not get a lot of love from me. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the declutter pile. Uh, next up here I have this one from Urban Decay. This is the Afterglow Highlight in Sin. I believe I bought this one because I did like testing my subscriber's favorite makeup and this one got so many recommendations and I was like, what? I feel like I've never even heard of this highlight. It's an absolutely beautiful highlight. I highly recommend Sin. Sometimes I have trouble finding it to link it when I'm wearing it or talking about it in videos, but uh, I believe that it is still available and I think that it's gorgeous. I just pulled it out the other day to wear it. I've been trying to do that even with the products that I didn't say were on my chopping block. If I saw a highlight that I hadn't pulled out in a while, I was wearing it and I was like, yeah, no sin. You're not going anywhere. You are staying with me forever. Maybe not forever, but I mean, like for the time being, you're going to stay with me. Okay. So this next one here, this is from Burberry. This is the Rose Gold Highlight, and this is one of the Fresh Glow Highlighters. I kept this highlight so many times because I'm like, it's Burberry and it's so pricey and, you know, it's so beautiful and luxurious and, you know, all these different things. I don't reach for this one a ton as much anymore. Uh, it definitely has more of like a pinky shift to it. This is my first declutter filming on my new camera, so I know I need to like brighten things up a bit, so I don't know even how well these swatches are going to be going. Uh, but this Burberry, I feel like I've just been keeping it because it's been Burberry and because it's high end and you know, all these different reasons, but I really don't wear it a ton and especially anymore, I'm just not reaching for it a lot. So I think this would be really cool to gift to one of my, my girlfriends. Like I can just kind of imagine her reaction of like, you know, it's like the Burberry packaging and all that. Like, I just think that would be a really cool thing to do. So I am going to go ahead and put that one in my past pile. Okay, I have this one here from Laura Mercier. So this is a really beautiful palette. This is called the Stardust Radiant Glow Palette. So inside you have the three different shades. This is a really nice highlighting palette. The highlights are a little bit more on the subtle side. I typically kind of go for something a little bit more with like an oomph and like a little bit more bright. But there's definitely times or situations that I do want a more subtle highlight, and this is a really good option. These two highlights, the pinky one and kind of the lighter champagne, work really well for me. And I think that this is really pretty. I do love the packaging on this. This is fairly newer to me. Like, it's not my newest highlight by any means, but it is still fairly newer. It was sent to me from a subscriber, and I just think that it's still really pretty, and I just don't want to give it up yet. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to this one. I, it's not like my most used highlight palette, but I still think that it's really pretty, so... I still would do want to keep it around in my collection. So I have this one here from Ofra. This is the Pillow Talk Highlight. This is one of my favorite highlighters. We know that this one isn't going anywhere. It's a really beautiful, kind of more pinky highlight, and I think it's stunning. Again, I really do like the Ofra highlights. Definitely have to keep that one around. Uh, this one here is from J Cat Beauty. This is one of the U Glow highlights, one of the baked highlighters, and this one is in Bella Rose. This one has a pretty cool kind of like purple like shift to the highlight and it has this beautiful rose pattern. It's really gorgeous and JCAP Beauty is uh, more on the affordable side also. Um, it is a bit more of like a powdery and you know it does pull a little bit more purple on my face which I'm not a huge fan of like the colored highlights in that sense. Like pink is kind of the farthest that I'll go. So I think I'm gonna, I am going to go ahead and declutter this one. I just don't reach for it as much lately so I'm going to go ahead and put that one in the past pile. I have this little mini here from Laura Geller. This is the uh, Gilded Honey Highlight. So this is a mini that I grabbed from Ulta and so many people have raved about the Laura Geller highlights and especially Gilded Honey. That's all I've heard about on YouTube for so long. So when they came out with a mini, I was like, yes, I'm definitely getting that. It is a really beautiful highlight. I love that I have a mini of it. You know, maybe I have a chance of hitting pan in a highlight one day with this. So this is going to go in my keep pile. I really like that one. 
This one here is from Cover FX. This is another mini highlight. This one is in Moonlight. This is a pretty highlight, but I just don't reach for it a lot. And I think that I did put it in my chopping block video and I tried to remember to reach for it and wear it and you know, all that fun stuff. But I just feel like I was not getting a lot of use out of it. Still a pretty highlight and like the shade that I really like, kind of more of like that champagne. And I like that it's a mini and everything, but again, I'm just not reaching for it a lot. So I feel like I don't need to bring it with me on my move. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that one in the pass pile. This one here is from NARS. This is in Capri. A little story about Capri, as I was pulling everything out, I know that I'm missing some highlights from my collection. They might already be packed up because I do have a few boxes packed. Um, and there's just a few things that have been like misplaced and whatnot as you know We were showing our house and getting prepared for a move So me looking at my highlight collection I know there's a few highlights in here that I'm missing So if you follow my channel and my videos really closely and you're like, hey, where's that highlight? It's probably just been packed already or it's in a different spot and I will find it when I unpack in the new house But I was pulling these out and I have another NARS highlight and I was like, wait a second Where is my Capri and then I started to panic because I was like, I can't have lost Capri This is one of my favorite highlights. I love Capri so much and I was just like, no, I have to find it. So I went on a tear to find this in my office and I finally did find it. So this one is more of a pinky highlight. It's kind of similar to the Over Pillow Talk, but Over Pillow Talk is much more blinding. The NARS highlights you can build up to that intensity, but you know, sometimes if you don't want that super blinding highlight right away, but you still kind of like the color of it or whatnot, then this is a really good option. And my NARS Capri, it looks a little bit beat up for me for someone who's really light handed, but I have to keep this one, especially because I hunted down for it so much because I did not want to have that one be lost. Uh, this one here is from Urban Decay. This is the Kristen Leanne Beauty Beam Palette, uh, highlighting palette. I mentioned this one in my chopping block video. I decided that I am going to put it in my past pile. I just don't reach for it as much anymore and that's kind of my big thing as I've been you know, packing and all of that is what am I not reaching for? What am I not inspired by? What am I not grabbing for? Um, you know, obviously I can't wear all of my highlights every single day or anything like that, but there's highlights that I just never reach for it and they don't need to come with me. I really enjoyed this at one point. I, I This one went traveling with me on a few trips and I really do like it, but as of right now, there's just other highlights that I'm reaching for more than this one. So that is going to go in my past pile. I'm sure I can make one of my girlfriends happy, you know, gifting that one as well. I have these two here from MAC Cosmetics. These are two of the Hyper Real Glow palettes. Uh, I'm kind of annoyed with these because they don't have the name on it. I think this rose gold one is called Flash and Awe, I'm pretty sure, uh, but they don't have the names on it, which I think is kind of annoying. These are really, really nice highlight palettes though, and I know MAC just came out with more of them in different shades, but these are really good. The rose gold one is definitely my favorite. The middle shade is for sure my favorite, but I also really do like this one. I can mix them, I can mix all three. This one is actually currently in my Shop to My Stash, so I'm definitely keeping this one, but just regardless, even if it wasn't in Shop My Stash, I would keep it anyways because I think it's such a beautiful highlight palette. So this one is staying with me, but I did decide that I can go ahead and declutter the gold one. The highlights in here are still really beautiful, and these two do work well on my skin tone. You know, um, they can be a little bit dark, but especially when I'm a little bit tanner, they still can work really well for me, but I probably don't need to keep both, and I just, if I'm going for my MAC highlights, I'm going into the rose gold palette because I just think it's beautiful. So this one doesn't get a lot of attention from me, which means I can put it in my past pile, which I am going to do. Uh, this one here is from I Love Sarah E and Dose of Colors, the collab that Karen did with Dose of Colors. This one is in Bathe. This is a really beautiful highlight. It definitely looks really dark in the pan, but it's actually not as dark on my skin. I'm kind of running out of room. I'm going to need to take a second here and wipe off some of these swatches, but it's, it's not as dark as it swatches, and once you start to blend it out on the skin, it just looks really beautiful. It's more of that pinky highlight, uh, but I really, really like this one. Definitely not going anywhere is my dose of colors and I love Sarah E. Uh, this one here is from Tarte. This is the exposed highlight. I really haven't gotten a lot of use out of this one. It's pretty, it's a mini as well. But I just, it's again, I just don't reach for it a lot. I, I like the shade. I think that looks nice on the skin, but I'm just not going into it a ton. So for that reason, this one is going to go in my past pile. This is a newer, new, yeah, a newer one to me. This is from Pure. This is the Afterglow highlight. I just reviewed this recently on my channel. Um, also, if I have any newer highlights that I'm still reviewing and I haven't even, you know, put that review on my channel, those typically don't make it into these videos because I know that I'm going to keep them. So it's kind of like, 
anticlimactic. But I did just review this one, and it, this is such a nice highlight. Uh, I, it's not a new, new product from Pure, but I think they're kind of re-promoting it, and they sent it out in some PR packages, and I think that it's beautiful. I've been wearing it so much. I like the compact. I like the mirror, but this is a really beautiful, more of that blinding highlight if that's what you're interested in. So that is staying with me. All right, so to keep it moving, this one here is from Lancome. This is one of their dual finish highlights in Sparkling Peach. This is a really pretty highlight. Uh, whenever I talk about this one, I always say about how I want to use it more. because so I do think that it's really nice. Again, I like the compact. Uh, it's a little bit dark for me, so sometimes if I'm not as tan, it's harder for me to pull off, but I still think it's really nice. This is a really good formula, so I'm going to keep that one. Here is from Becca Cosmetics. I know I have two from Becca and I was talking about them in my chopping block video because I was just saying that I don't reach for my Becca highlights as much lately, which kind of makes me sad, but I just feel like they kind of got dethroned and there's so many other highlights that I enjoy so much more now. This one is the, is it called Creamsicle Highlight? Dreamsicle. <laughs> I get it. This is the Dreamsicle highlight. So it looks kind of daunting in the pan for someone with my skin tone. Like when it came out, I was like, no way is this going to work on me. But it actually really does. It blends out really pretty on the skin. It's not too, like, it's not too much color or anything for like my personal preferences. But I still just don't reach for it a lot. And I still just feel like something happened with my Becca highlights and I just don't wear them as much lately. So I am actually going to go ahead and put that in the past pile. And then same with my, this one is the uh, Prismatic Amethyst. Still a really pretty highlight. It's kind of, you know, it's got that purple to it. This one is a little bit more purple on my skin. Um, so I don't love the shade as much as I do the Dreamsicle. That one just blends out a little bit more of my personal preference. Uh, but again, I just, I just don't reach for it a lot. So this is kind of like shocking to me because my Becca highlights used to be like on such a pedestal, but they kind of got knocked off. So that's going in my declutter pile. Also, this here is Mary Luminizer from The Balm, my OG highlighter. This has been my first highlighter. I purchased it on Amazon many moons ago. I tried to pan this last year in my project pan. I clearly failed miserably, but I love this highlight. She's just like such a staple to me and I'm gonna keep keeping Mary Lou along in my collection. So that is in my keep pile. This one here is from Essence. This is the Pure Nude Highlighter. This is a really nice highlighter, especially it's so affordable, which is awesome. Uh, I can't remember buying this because so many people were talking it up on YouTube. I was like, I definitely need that. This one is more subtle as well. And I'm going to... I'm going to declutter this one because I feel like I have some subtle highlights that I've kept around that I still really like and I just don't reach for this one quite as much. So I feel like I did get some good use out of this one, but just just not enough to keep around anymore. So that one's going in my declutter pile. Uh, this one here is from Ofra. This is the collab with Nikki Tutorials and this is in Cloud 9. So this is in the new like Ofra packaging and this one has kind of that pink shift to the highlight. So I'll go ahead and swatch it there. So that one is the Cloud 9 highlight. I really do like the overall highlights, but I've kept, you know, a palette and a single now, and I have a face palette with a highlight in there. And this shade isn't necessarily like totally my favorite with that shift in there. So that one is going to go in my past pile. Uh, I have this one here from Morphe. This one is in Spark. This is one of the single highlights that Morphe came out with maybe like last year. I did like this shade. I like this formula. Not a lot of people talked about it. I feel like Morphe really only gets talked about if there's like drama or collab. <laughs> and sometimes like their actual like good makeup releases kind of get, you know, stuffed under the rug. But this was a nice highlight. Um, I thought it looked really pretty on the skin. It's not something that I just reach for a ton though. So I'm going to put it in the past pile. So that's where that's going to go. And then I realized that this is actually kind of more of a face palette, uh, like a little trio here. So I'm going to kick this one out of the highlight uh, declutter since that's not just a highlight. So wanted to tell you where that was going. This one here is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Bar of Gold palette. So inside you have three different shades. I reviewed this one fairly recently on my channel and I do think that it's nice. I, I don't quite understand the price for it. I, I think that they're really pretty highlights. I just think it's kind of like, you know, I mean, some Charlotte Tilbury has some really high price products, but it is still really pretty and I definitely do like that center shade. I'm going to keep it around for right now. Again, one of my newer palettes, so sometimes it's harder for me to let something go that's a little bit newer to me. So I'm going to keep this one 
Um, I do think that it's pretty. And then next up I have this one from Dose of Colors. This was in collaboration with Desi and Katie. This is the Fuego highlight. I bought this one because so many people were raving about it. I do like the highlight. It's not my absolute favorite. Um, I think it's actually a little bit more subtle on me. I kind of do have to build it up a little bit, but I still do like it. I do really enjoy Dose of Colors and Desi X Katie. So Desi X Katie, Desi and Katie, hello. So I am going to uh, keep this one. So And then I do have three here from ColourPop. I really do like their Super Shock highlighters. Uh, I think that they're, they're really nice. Flexitarian is my favorite highlight. You can see that I was just using it recently for an inner corner highlight because you can really see that little like brush marks in there. Uh, but I really do like Flexitarian. Also, I believe it's in my 9 in 2019 project pan, so definitely have to keep around Flexitarian, but I do really enjoy that one. And then the other one that I really do like is On the Cusp. This one is just a little bit darker than a Flexitarian, but I do still think that it's really pretty, so I do want to keep this one. And then I also have Stole the Show, and I'm like, do I need to keep all three of these from ColourPop? Again, I really do like all of them. This one would be probably the lightest one that I have. I'm going to swatch it just to, just to double check. Um... I mean, beautiful swatch, don't get me wrong. Ugh, now that I swatched it, I'm like, do I want to get rid of it? But I know that I have some, I know that I have some like this in my collection and I can, I can pass this on to someone. I, I probably don't need all three. I'm just trying to be strong here. So that one's going to go on the pass pile. This is from Pure. I think it's just like their highlight palette. I'm not sure what the official name of it is. I'll try to be linking some products down below. Usually with the clutters, I can't link everything, but I'll try to link as much as I can. This was a really beautiful palette. I reached for it quite a bit. I said really high things about it, but I'm not reaching for it as much lately. And I feel like I can probably pass this on to someone else who would get more use out of it. I really did like the shades in here and I thought it was really complimentary to my uh, particular skin tone, but just not reaching for it as much kind of going for my single shadows a bit more So my single highlights more so I'm gonna put that in the past pile this one here from Mali Beauty This is the Waza was up highlight palette uh, So you have a cream powder in here and then two highlight shades. I just don't reach for this a lot It, it is a nice highlight palette. Um, I reviewed it and I had some good things to say about it But I'm just not reaching for it enough. So that's going to go in the past pile also this one here from a Sleek Makeup, I was kind of struggling with when I pulled it out. I was like, oh no, what am I going to do about this one? You have two cream powders in there and then two uh, highlights. And I know this palette, um, this is called the Solstice Palette. This got so much hype on YouTube for so long. So many people really like this one. I'm going back and forth on it once I pulled it out and as I've been going through the declutter, like what am I going to do about this one? Do the two powder shades, I reach for them over the cream for sure. And they are really nice. And I think that this is just a good option to have. So I want to keep this one for now. Now, it might go on the chopping block for the next declutter, but for right now, I still want to go ahead and keep that one. Uh, this here is from All May. This is the Instant Glow Highlighting Duo. So you had a cream product on one side and a liquid on the other. This actually really surprised me because I felt like this was a pretty darn nice highlight. Uh, but I don't reach for it as much because I'm not a cream or a liquid girl. But if you are, if you love both of those, uh, this is a really nice option from the drugstore. I'm just not going into it enough. So I'm going to put that in the declutter pile. This one here is from Smashbox. This is the Pearl palette that was in collaboration with Casey Holmes, who's one of my favorite YouTubers. I still definitely want to keep this one around. I think that it's a beautiful palette still, so definitely going to be holding on to that one. I have this one from Makeup Geek. This one was in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. It's a really pretty palette. It really is, but I don't think that it's the greatest for my particular skin tone. Even these two here are a little bit dark for me, even when I am a bit tanner. So I think for that reason, I should go ahead and pass it on. I really do enjoy Kathleen Lights, but I'm just not reaching for this one enough. So that one is going to go in the past pile. This one here is from Flower Beauty. This is their Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. This is a gorgeous highlighting palette for sure, and it's nice and affordable. Packaging kind of drives me a little crazy, but I like all three shades in here. This is definitely a blinding highlight situation. If you want that, I would recommend this. This is so, so good. I do have a highlight palette that's really similar uh, to this from CoverGirl, and I know I no, I don't know where it's at. I'm assuming it already got packed up in a box, but I have one from CoverGirl that's really similar to it, and I really wanted to be able to show the similarities, so I'm kind of bummed that I wasn't able to find that one, but regardless, I would have kept that anyways. I'm just sure I'll find it when I unpack, but I'm definitely holding on to this one from Flower Beauty because I think it's so beautiful. 
And then we have two left. Oh, shoot. I feel like I didn't do as good as I thought I was going to do because I really enjoy both of these. Again, this is the other one from NARS. This is in Fort de France. So uh, the other one, the Capri, is a little bit more on the pink side. This one is kind of more on that champagne -y side. I was just wearing this in a video recently, and I got a lot of compliments on it. I really do like this NARS highlight formula, so going to keep that one. And then, of course, my Natasha Super Glow in Fair. This is, you know, my favorite highlight. I talk about this all the time, my most worn highlight, etc. Definitely need to be keeping this one. So I actually don't feel like I did as good as I was hoping I was going to do, but let me pull everything out and see what we look like. Okay, so this pile over here is my declutter pile and I decluttered 19. And this pile over here is my keep and I kept 23. Honestly, I didn't do as good as I thought I was. So I kind of sat here for a second and looked over my keep pile and was like, is there anything in here that I really don't feel like I need just because I, I really want to be doing better on the declutters with the moving process and everything. And I actually decided to declutter two more. So I'm, I am gonna declutter the sleek makeup. I kind of went back and forth. You know, I only use half the palette. I have plenty of drugstore, you know, affordable options still in my highlight collection. So I'm going to move the sleek over to my declutter pile and then also the Lancome, which this one kind of hurts because I really do like this formula. It's just mostly the shade that's not the best for me. I can't wear it as much as I can some of my other highlights. So for that reason, I'm also going to go ahead and declutter that one. And honestly, that makes me feel better. So, you know, no one has to say like, oh, it's your collection, you know, do what you want to do. That is what I wanted to do. And I feel happier with that decision, just being honest. And then by doing that, we now have 21 in the declutter pile and 21 in the keep pile. So, hey, I feel like that's pretty good. That makes me more confident in my decision as well. So I am pretty happy about that. So we have cut my highlight to collection, collection in half and I am pretty proud of that. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's declutter video. I might do like a moving declutter also, so stay tuned for that. But I do try to do a declutter every single month. So I think next month is probably just gonna be kind of a general makeup moving declutter, moving makeup declutter, if you will. So stay tuned for that. Let me know what you thought about this highlight declutter, of course, in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy this one, I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. I hope that you'll also consider subscribing before you go, and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video.